In this Learn Dash tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to gamify your online course platform. Let me give you a brief example of what you're going to learn how to do in this video. This website has a membership and it includes multiple courses and this is one of the courses that's included. And so I'm going to click on this button, but I want you to keep your eye right here in the top right. So when I go to enroll in the course, I click on this to enroll in the course. There I've unlocked an achievement. and and it's the power learner achievement. I came up with that and I also came up with this badge and also this bit of text right here. And now when I go over to my dashboard, here I am, I'll refresh the page. You can see now I'm in, in enrolled in it's another course, but I'm collecting these achievement badges. And that's just scratching the surface on what you're going to learn how to do in this video. Now, right now, you might be thinking to yourself, what, what's what's the point of this? I mean, how does this benefit me, the online course creator? Let me explain that briefly. So your goal of creating online courses, the real goal is to have your students be successful by any means necessary. And the way you benefit by them being successful is number one, the reward of helping someone and getting them the results that they paid you for. But number two, the business incentive is when you make another course, they were successful in this course. So they're more likely to buy future courses from you or move up the ladder of the chain of the various offers that you have. This type of achievements in issuing out these achievements are encouraging to students. It keeps them engaged with what you've made for them and it keeps them moving forward towards the goal that you set out for them. On my iPhone, I use the Apple Health app and you can see right here all these various achievements that I've unlocked just while using it. And also for the workouts that I use, I have this app right here and it's tracking all of the various achievements that I have. You can see there's my badges as it relates to particular workouts that I go through. My own personal experience being involved in platforms that offer this type of achievements, I prefer it versus not having those achievements. It's good, it's fun to go back and look at and see the things that I've accomplished. So if you wanna help your Learn Dash students be more successful with your online courses, this is the video for you. Now, the great news is you don't have to buy anything to unlock this type of functionality on your LearnDash website. It's included with your LearnDash purchase. There's no additional cost for it. Now, if you don't have a copy of LearnDash, visit wpcrafter.com slash LearnDash. The link will be in the video description. When you buy it through that link, it's a referral link. And I like to give people that purchase it. You just contact me, access to this course that I've created on creating courses. It's not about using Learn Dash. It's about creating the content for your courses. So if this interests you, the link will be in the video description. Now, Learn Dash is very modular, and that means all these various Learn Dash features you can add them individually. So where it says Learn Dash here, I'm gonna go down here to where it says Add-ons. And you're gonna to wanna to activate the add-on that is the Achievements add-on. Just go ahead, install it, and activate it, and you'll see a new option here on the left that says Achievements. First, let's take a look at the settings, and then we're gonna set up an achievement. Like the rest of the Learn Dash interface, here is the settings specifically for Achievements. And what we have here is the pop-up time. And that was the pop-up that appeared when I earned that achievement. You can set if you want that to automatically disappear. When it's set to zero, it'll stay there until the learner clicks on it and then it'll go away. Here's where you can set the background color as well as the text color and you have an RTL option. Next, we have these short codes and this is actually kind of cool. You can have a leaderboard where you can showcase your top students. And here's a short code for that, as well as add achievements to the user dashboard that you provide for your students. Now, there's also a WordPress block that LearnDash has added to add this as well. But if you're using a page builder, you can just use these short codes if you like. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create our first achievement. 
I'll click right here where it says add new achievement and you're gonna give it a name and then you're gonna give it a description and this is what showed in that little pop-up. Over here on the right, we're going to choose an image that will go with this achievement and then we're gonna choose what the achievement is for and there's some really cool options here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the some of this out. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and select an image. Now you can upload your own image or when you click on select image, there are several options that you have available here. They're not that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of these. How about this one right here? That works fine for me. Now let's take a look at the power of this system and it's really these triggers. So you saw me use the trigger that when someone enrolled in a specific course, but check this out. When I expand the options, we have a long, long list here of options. So we have more than just learn dash triggers here. We have WordPress triggers. So first let's go through the learn dash ones and then we'll take a look at the WordPress triggers because it's pretty impressive what you can do. So right here, we have user enrolls in a group. Now, when you select these, it will reveal certain options here that pertain to that trigger. So since this is enrolling in a group, it's gonna show me a list of groups right here. So we have enroll into a course, complete a course, complete a lesson, complete a topic, user passes a quiz, fails a quiz. Oops, that's no good. User complete, I mean, like I don't get that one actually. I, I don't get like you would award someone for failing a quiz. I don't understand it, but maybe there's probably a good reason for that that I'm just not aware of. Okay, we got user completes a quiz, uh, uploads an assignment, an assignment is approved, and essay questions has been graded. So a lot of these, for example, the topic, you're gonna see lots of different options here, right? Because it's a course and then a lesson, and you're drilling down into this particular uh, topic. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this user completes a lesson. So let's go ahead and choose that. And I'm gonna choose the one lesson in that course, Butter Cake Basics. So then once you've configured that part, right here you can award points if you want. So I'm gonna just give five points for achieving this. And how many times can they be awarded this? So for me, I only gonna want this one time. Now what's nice, and you see this all throughout Learn Dash, if you don't know what something means, you can click on the little question. It expands with this slight explanation of what that particular one does. So let me go ahead and click on publish. So now we have this when someone completes that particular lesson, they're going to uh, they're going to be awarded this achievement. But I didn't show you the WordPress related re achievements. So let's look at those because they're really unique in what you can do. So the first one is when someone registers, you can give them some points. When a user logs in, and this is actually really cool because unless your course can be done in one sitting, you need to get people to log in daily or weekly in order to go over the course content. User adds a post, so this is how you can get your students to actually create content. That's interesting. User adds a, con con a comment. So if you have, say, a blog attached to your online course, heck, maybe you can have in a lesson the instructions for the student to go read that blog post and engage with it and you can award them an achievement for that. Likewise, we have user visits a post, and lastly, users a post gets visited. That's interesting to have a student create a post and you're awarding them points as people actually visit that post. Pretty interesting op uh, options of what you can do here to have a robust achievements system for students. And here you can see my new achievement that I added. You can see I actually used that self starter phrase down below already, but you get the point right there. So let's go ahead and earn that achievement. So here is the course right here. I'll click on into it. And here is that lesson. I'll click into it. And here is a video. Now I'm using Presto Player, which is a video player product that I released in early 2021 and it's made to work with Learn Dash. You can do some really amazing things. It works with Learn Dash video progression and you can actually use it to keep track of every video your students watch. And there's a bunch of other things that you can do with this video player. If that interests you, I have a Q 
coupon in the video description box. And you can see it's also branded right here. So I'll just go ahead and push play. Now, one thing that is really cool is with this video player, you can make this scroll bar and all these options completely disappear. So someone's actually forced to watch the video. And if you have text content, you can make the video pause. And if they're in a different tab in the web browser, you can have it pause if they're not focused on the video. We call that focus mode. It's a really cool feature. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just click on mark complete and that's going to be it. I forgot I had video progression enabled, which is one of our features. And so I couldn't click on mark complete until the video was done. All right. So now I can click on mark complete It marked it complete and boom, I just earned another award. And you can see I had it set to zero, which means that the award stays there. And when I click on the award or this award notification, it goes away just like that. Now, if you're using Presto player, you can go back here and you can click on the settings and you can turn on the analytics and click on save and it's going to track what people watch. So when you go into analytics right here on the right, it's going to list out all your student emails. You'll be able to click into them and see the videos they watched and exactly how long they watched it for. And pretty much that's all there is to it. I really love how this is a new thing for Learn Dash. You don't have to get some third party tool and plug it in. I'm kind of excited to see what happens in the future with this as well as other third party products. I know with Presto Player, we'll do some kind of an achievement integration as well as Uncanny Automator. I like that tool a lot. You can do some really cool stuff with Learn Dash with it and to see what kind of interesting things can be unlocked there as well. Hey, uh, if you want to learn anything about Learn Dash specifically, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to create a video for you on that. If I could get you to do one thing for me and that's click the thumbs up on this video that helps the video be showed to more people that can benefit from it hey if you're not a subscriber i'd like to invite you to subscribe thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one